What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys have been new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Hopefully, you guys can hear me okay. Um, this is a free general collective reading, uh, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading. It's for all signs, cap suicide, okay? So, one message may resonate, two may resonate, two plus may resonate, none may resonate. Only you know your particular story and situation, so you have to plug yourself in where you resonate if you do. Or maybe you just enjoy the stories. I'm not sure. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. These are psychic, intuitive messages, so you plug the messages in to resonate, leave the rest, okay? So, I received another channeling, um, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. I hope everybody's doing well tonight on 6-14-2022. Okay, so the channel message I received was... Um, um, a masculine energy, uh, very abusive, militant style, masculine energy in a workplace situation. His anger is about to get the best of him in a huge way. He, um, he is about to experience very heavy negative karma. Um, abuse towards a co-worker um, is about to happen soon. And this co-worker is not going to stand for it. They're going to call. Someone very important very soon, and through many series of chain events, he will be fired. I, I don't know. You plug it in how it resonates. That is terrible. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. It's a masculine energy and a um, workplace situation. Whoever this person is and how they apply. Um, I feel you could be the masculine energy that has severe anger. It sounds like he has anger issues, like severe. I heard abuse towards coworkers. History of abuse towards co-workers. But it's about to seriously backfire this time. Oh, my Lord. I heard abuse. History. He has a history of abuse towards the co-workers. So, this isn't the first time. I mean, Lord. This is um, not the first time. It is not the first time. He has a history of abuse towards co-workers. But this time, it's about to backfire on him. So, it sounds like he um, didn't get properly reprimanded in the past or i mean i don't know what kind of profession he works in but if he works in nursing that's serious you can't be, be abusing nobody i'm not saying he does work in nursing but um you can't you can't be abusing nobody and that's just the truth um i don't know what kind of profession he works in you have to plug this abusive masculine energy in how he resonates for you but this is terrible he has a history of abuse whoever he is he's a masculine energy works the night shift Works the night shift is what I just heard. He works the night shift. So whoever this person is to you, sir or ma'am. Um, but I, I think I pull in the person. I think I'm pulling this in because I pull in the person that he's about to get abusive towards. That it's about to backfire towards. That's what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. This is the reason I'm getting this channeling. I think ma'am or sir, whoever you are that watches my channel, I think you are the one he's about to get abusive towards. Because I heard it's about to get severely backfire on him this time. So it sounds like he's been abusive. He has a history of abusive nature towards co-workers in the past. Heard he's very, uses militant style. He's abusive and uses militant style. But this time it's about to backfire. It's about to backfire in a huge way. Spirit messages here. I like this. Heard it's about to backfire in a huge way. So you plug it in how it resonates. Well, I mean, nobody should be abusive towards anybody. Um... And that's just the truth. Um, but um, you plug it in, how it resonates. I heard try again. So, um, good, good. Journey, seven chakra reversed. Okay. Whoever this person is, it's masculine energy, has a history of abuse, and it's in a workplace, workspace situation. And um, um, it's about to backfire on him this time. I think, sir or ma'am, you are about to be the one to stand up to him. I heard you're about to call a very important person. And through many series of chain of events, it sounds like after he abuses you in some shape, form, or fashion. I don't know if it's verbal abuse or physical abuse with an object or with his hands or extremity or what have you. But um, however that resonates, you're not going to take it. I hear that song. We're not going to take it anymore. And that's a love song, a lovely song, just saying. Um, I'm serious. You shouldn't have to take abuse in a workspace situation. And that's just the truth, ma'am or sir. So good for you for standing up for yourself. 
If this sounds like this hasn't happened yet, it sounds like it's upcoming in the universe. So you plug it in how it resonates, sir or ma'am. Um, journey with seven chakra archangel Uriel reversed. I heard it's night shift. So I think you guys work the night shift. Um, maybe that's why I'm pulling it in at 11.53 p.m. I'm not sure. Number two or 41 can be very significant numbers in one's life. Two or 41, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, a child of yours or somebody you're connected to, or age of you or somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number in one's life. Two or 41. Journey upright. I heard this person's going to be terminated. They're going to be terminated through many series of chain of events. And it sounds like they should. I mean, this, he sounds very aggressive. Sounds like he needs anger management. And I'm serious. I heard a history of abuse in workspace. A history. So it's not, this isn't the first time. Journey. It is going to piss this masculine energy off. You know this, but you also know it needs to be done. And you're right, it does. Oh my God, I heard it's going to hit, I heard a pig. It is going to piss this masculine energy off. Um, but I heard um, you're, uh, that it needs to be done and you're right, it does need to be done. So, sorry ma'am, you're about to be a huge power play game changer, power play mover in this. You're about to stand up to him. I don't think people stood up to him in the past or maybe many people didn't, how that resonates. It sounds like he keeps getting away with it and getting away with it and getting away with it and getting away with it. But you're about to stand up to them, uh, to him, I'm sorry. You're about to stand up to him and through many series of chain of events, I heard he will be terminated. So um, however that resonates in one's life, um, I heard he's going to be pissed, but you know it needs to be done and I heard you're right, it does. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So journey, I think this is the termination, not wrongful termination energy after many series of chain of events. Um, I feel this might be a professional career or I think a professional career. I do. I do. I think it's a professional career. Um, I think he gets paid well. I think you get paid well. Um, there's a reason he stayed for so long is what I'm saying. Um, and a reason you've probably stayed for so long if you've stayed there so long. But it sounds like he has because there's a history of him having abuse in this workplace. Now, whether I don't know about you, but it sounds like he's been there a hot minute. Um, but he's going to have to journey out of his workspace situation. And this could be you journeying, journeying, journeying. I can't speak. Journeying, journeying, journeying. I can't, I say it. I can't say it. Journeying, journeying, journeying. You know, okay, that, that, just saying. To your boss, manager, CEO, supervisor, whoever, whoever. To communicate this report of abuse, uh, whether it's verbal um, or physical objects or extremities, however that resonates, okay? Many other negative series of chain events is going to occur for him as well. Professional. Many other negative series of chain events are going to occur for him as well. Professional. So some kind of many other negative series of chain events are going to occur for him as well. Some, something to do with professional. So his, I'm assuming he works in a professional career. Y'all both work in a professional career. Maybe he has a professional certification or licensure or, um, Something of that nature, some kind of certification or licensure or uh, or diploma or something, uh, something professional. I'm thinking like a certification or licensure or something. He's professional. You're professional. Or he's supposed to be. He, he's supposed to be professional. I'll tell you that. He's really not. Um, but you know this. You're highly intuitive and you know this. So you plug it in how it resonates. Seven chakra, Archangel Uriel, crown chakra reversed. He's a huge hothead. And it's about to rear its ugly head soon. Collateral damage. 
Oh, my dear God. I heard he's a huge hothead, and he's about to rear his ugly head soon. Collateral damage? So, he's a huge hothead. He's a huge hothead. I mean, he has a history of abuse in his workplace. Um, yeah, I, I, I told y'all earlier, I thought he um, needed anger management. Yeah, I'm huge hothead. Yeah. So, um, sounds like when he doesn't get his way or something, he kind of flies off the handle. It's kind of what it seems like here, but only you know your story and situation in this workspace situation with this angry, masculine energy, not anybody else, sir, man. Um, but it's about to backfire on him this time. And it's about to be through you, sir, ma'am, if this resonates. So he's a hothead. He, uh, he's very impulsive. He does not think before he reacts, if this resonates. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, and you're about to take action, sir, ma'am, um, whoever you are. And create a series of chain of events here is what I'm feeling. You plug it in how it resonates. Wow. This is about to be a huge, huge, huge thing. Hospital setting for one. Manufacturing setting for one. Okay, I heard hospital setting for one. Manufacturing setting for one. Long-term care setting for one. Okay, so hospital setting for one, manufacturing setting for one, and long-term care setting for one. So there's at least three hothead, anger, um, hostile, S-type, angry masculine energies that work night shift. I'm presuming it one at a long-term care, one at a hospital, and one in manufacturing. But it's about to backfire on them. But it's about to be because of you, sir or ma'am. You're about to take action. You plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. One in a fast food setting. Manager. One in a fast food setting. Red manager. Okay, so four. So there's one that works in a hospital. One that works in long-term care, one that works in manufacturing, and one that works in fast food manager. Um, they're all masculine energies, and they all are hotheads and have a history of abuse towards co-worker or co-workers in the past. Maybe for some, it could be their patients or their um, clients, possibly, but I, I, I didn't hear that part. I'm feeling this towards co-worker energy is what I'm feeling, but you plug it in how it resonates. But it's about to backfire on them because you're about to take action. Sir, ma'am, um, you plug it in how it resonates. You're about to stand up to them. You're about to go through the chain is what I feel like. You're about to go through the chain and you're about to um, report their ass is what I feel. I feel in the past somebody did not report them or somebody's reports were not heard. And they just kept getting away with it and getting away with it and get away with, getting away with it. It's about to stop in a huge way. It's about to stop in a huge way. I heard it's about to stop in a huge way. Well, you go with your bad self, sir, ma'am, whoever you are. This is beautiful. Um, whoever you are, your action paper over here. You go with your bad self. All right, I love you guys. I hope this helped and namaste.